some of your windows locks come out broken. I was lucky enough mine this this part that opens and the part that holds it on to the lever didn't break and so what I did is I cut it on the bottom so I have both the end pieces I have the piece that you push to open and the push piece that pulls what I found at one of the stores we went to and I was gonna try to just use them for L brackets I think they're a little too small for what I needed was they said this was some kind of piper uh, plumbing strapping of some sort I never really used it before what I did is I took and I made a mark, you know, and I just I'll just um, cut it where I needed it. And I've already built one, so this is, I'm just kind of showing you what I did. So I took this and I snipped it down the middle, so I had two sides to it. And then I'm going to go to my next piece. What I did is I cleaned this all up with the snippers, just clean those little barbs up. And then I came up with a piece that looks like this simple little piece then I take right here where my mark is and how I got my mark is I went inside this this end here and I kinda seen how deep it needed to be and then I put a mark on it actually I copied that one off of another one so this is probably better so right there where the line is that's where I'm gonna make my mark or my bend I don't have fancy tools to do all that with so a pair of um, Lineman pliers, bend it over. Gets a pretty good bend on it. It's pretty stout stuff. I mean, it could be bent just by hand, and you wouldn't have to hammer it or anything, and I'd probably probably be fine. So then the other side is the handle side that pushes it out. I just stuck that in there, make sure it's going to be far enough. Now, like I said, I've already measured the distance and stuff, so it'll you'll have to do that. But then, again, just grab it right here, give it a good bend, beat it into place. Where we're from, we're proud to say, hey, we redneck it. Um, you know, I don't know if this is something I can use a new term and call it, you know, schooling in it or whatever. I don't know if that's offensive, so... Until I find out from you guys, I won't use it, but, you know. My father-in-law's name is Jerry. We call his stuff Jerry Rig, so, you know, it's just kind of what we do around here. But what I found is I made a piece, and then we'll get over to the slide. And this slide piece goes in here. And Let's see if I can... Oh, my gosh. And the slide piece goes in here. Um... Guys, I'm really trying to get you the view. I hope you can see and it. it. And this goes down, makes it easier to slide down. And the only reason I know is because I took it apart. It slides over to here. And then I take this little T. Now, if your T is broke, you can bend that up underneath of this and catch it on those little lips. Like, you can get it like this. And you probably end up using the fatter side and trimming it down to where you want it. Um, because my plastic pieces are still good and I don't want to have to um, I don't want to cut myself or anything and my kids will be using it and my wife and sometimes my kids don't pay attention to what they're doing so I don't want to slice their finger off so what I did is I slide it in I put the little tip that I cut off that was still in good shape and then I'm gonna put it right into this spot I'll show you as soon as I get it in there it's not really hard to do it's just kind of showing you on camera is a little difficult and this may be a little too fat because well, this is the old one. So, as you can see, there's some adjustments you have to make. But let me grab the one I made for this size already. And I've test fit it. It's a little shallower, I think. Yeah. So, make sure it fits. Might be a couple times doing it. Goes right into this little notch here. It's really not that hard. I don't know why I'm having too much difficulty. Alright, there you go. And then it slides over. So now you go back and you grab your springs and you put them in like this. What I did is I cut this piece so it just slides right on top. And sometimes you gotta move it over a little bit. But, and it slides in that hole that's in there. It's that hole back there. So 
and again it's not made to come out of the track so it gives you a little bit of fit here and there but there we go see how loose that is what I'm gonna do is we're gonna super glue it or hot glue it on there but there we go it's down in there fine it goes past all this when I go to push it it pushes just fine um, like I said I'm gonna hot glue this tip on there and then if you've ever taken your windows apart or you haven't taken your windows apart there's a little slot on the side of this metal it goes right back in there and that's what I'm gonna screw it to and then this is my my window so that'll be the track and that's how I'll fix it and if you go over here and look at this one it's broke too so this piece is still good I'm hoping the piece that's in there is still good but I suggest you don't take both sides off so you can put it back as you can see I don't have any of this black strapping and my windows busted so until I can get in here and get new glaze and windows we're kind of doing it as cheap as we can using what we have so there you go guys I hope it works for you Thank <laughs> you.